Hey besties, so what we're going to be doing today is a fun project that I thought uh, would be a good way for you to use your scrap acrylic. Those of you that are familiar with Glowforge or any laser cutter, you'll know that after you finish a big project, you'll typically have leftover acrylic that might be small pieces that you don't really know what to do with. So I have been making craft charms for my family, just as gifts, things like that. So we're gonna do some today with the Glowforge Aura. The best thing about this is that these range from a half an inch to an inch depending on what you're cutting. So you're not using up very much acrylic at all. What you see here is the circles for the photo charms. What's on the inside is the score that basically is just gonna show you where you place your picture. And then the rhinestones are gonna be outside that circle. So it's mainly just a template. Now, of course, if you just wanted a full circle crack charm, then you just remove that score or don't add it at all and you can make the whole circle the size that you want the charm to be. Most of these images come from the Glowforge Premium Database, so all you have to do is really type in whatever you want. Um, I think I've typed in Spider-Man, you know, soccer balls. You can type in anything for a nurse, stethoscope. You can add their name to it and make a badge rail for their, their work badge. Just like I did here, I put the hanger, I did shopping, I did queen, and then I selected it all together and I did my outline. So you can do the same thing. You can make up whatever you want there or you can add your files in. I did add a few. I did this one, this one, this one, and this one, but pretty much everything else was from the Glowforge uh, graphics, okay? So let's go ahead and get into cutting and assembly. So I used this silicone tool to add on my UV resin. I just make sure that I get the edges really good so it'll have like a seamless uh, seal on it. So it's not gonna look lumpy or the middle will look flat and the edges will have like a, a bump around it. So just make sure that you smooth it out all the way to the edge. This can also be layered. So if you do your first coat of resin and you realize there's some imperfections there, you can always go back and place another coat on and place it back outside to recure it. The best thing about this UV resin is that you can cure it outside. You do not need a UV light. I would suggest reading the notes on the back if you are gonna use it, just to make sure that you know you have a ventilated area, you use gloves, goggles, things like that if you're gonna be doing any big projects. I did not get any on my hands or anything like that, but again, just make sure you protect yourself if you do uh, any big projects. So I'm going to be using my nail drill for this. You can use sandpaper from the Dollar Tree, a nail file, just something that's going to allow you to create a little bit of scoring on the back of it. It helps the crack charm accessory stay on better. I'm now going to do the same thing with the back of my crack accessory. I'm using the flat part that sticks to the back of my acrylic. Um, and then the rounded piece is what, you know, you place inside of the shoe. Okay, so here are all the ones that I made. Um, I kind of like my 
I like black and gold, so as you can see that theme, but um, I like them to all kind of kind of match. I may not wear every single charm on there, but you know, I just wanted to give you guys an example. I tried to pick out things that fit my personality, shopping, jewelry, my family, perfume, Jordan ones, traveling, different things like that. So again, a little bit of acrylic goes a long way. I want to say you can get about 40 to 50 on a third of a sheet of uh, the 12 by 12 acrylic. So, you know, if you have scraps, that's even better. I just wanted to give an example of some things you can do to help you out with using those scraps. But again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.